thought I'd do a little bit of an update. It's been about six months since I set the tank up. Everything was uh, fresh and new and all the fish were juvenile except for that, that big erratus right there. That was a rescue. I think it's probably a couple of years old. It was sitting in a tank that people forgot it was even there. And I put a bunch of one inch little juveniles in here. And uh, as you can see, they're not juvenile no more. Put the Dempsey back in there. Each Dempsey has picked a corner. The other Dempsey. He normally is hanging up in those plants there. They've eaten on the plants. Um, really haven't uprooted too much. And uh, it's a little bit cloudy. I gotta do a filter change out, but I like it natural anyways, so. But like I said, I, I have no heater. Never have. No filter. I mean, no filter. <laughs> no water changes ever it goes down the filter starts to make a little bit too much noise and i pour some water in there uh maybe dump a little bit of aquarium salt in there with it right there nothing fancy just a little basic maintenance um i mean these guys come from the wild you think anybody's treating them for ick and all the other stuff no they have to rely on what nature gives them. They do just fine. As you can see, they're pretty happy. What's up, Jack? He's not flashing his colors that much. That's the smaller one. He gets a little scared sometimes. There's the bigger one. He got a lot better color. Let me kick these guys some food and make them get a little excited. Watch him hit that water a little bit. Both them Dempsey's. Some Kenya. I don't know what this guy is. If anybody can identify that little dude right there. There he is, he's getting chased the by the, the big the female, or the big male Kenya. I love the Venistas. They get such brilliant colors. And look at that top fin, the reds and orange and blue and green. And it is awesome, I love it. Out of all the singlets, it's, that's the most fun you can have with fish without getting into that salt water money. And I think these guys have a lot more personality, anyways. But anyways, that's uh, that's Cichlid City live plant, African rootwood, pea gravel from the driveway, slate from around the yard busted up, some jars. A couple. There's a big jar right there. Let me get it on the side view. I'm not, sure that's no, not much, but big like milk jar, flower vase. There's a couple more jars back in there. They make great little caves, hideouts. You can bury them in the gravel. And I have a Pecostomus pleco. That little bitch is worthless. You see him in there? He's been there for four months. He wiggles, and that's about it. Worthless piece of you know what. Anyways, it's time for this guru to bust a move. This is the Cichlid City. I am the guru. You know who it is? It's the guru, bitches. Peace.